all the other times I just tried it the wrong way. So there. catch up with the dogs <laughs> I don't say every morning I make my warm lemon water I don't know what it is it's nothing to like lose weight or whatever I just feel like it really helps my stomach and my digestive system kind of kickstart for the day it just feels really good to have something warm in your stomach I don't make this I can switch it to like a tea I was very big on matcha I'm taking a tiny little break for matcha but lemon water in the morning is, it feels really good but today i will be walking you guys through my what i eat in a day because i feel like the biggest change i've noticed in my body since i started this fitness journey like for real a month and a half ago it has been with my diet that has been the biggest biggest difference in my body of course working out is really important because it helps you burn calories and help you get to your goal a lot faster but working out is only 20 percent 80 percent is how you eat and what you eat i've always been on some type of fitness journey i feel like i've been in i've been out i've been off i've been on but this time around it's been different it's been really different all the other times i just tried it the wrong way and this time around i'm just tired of feeling tired you know like when you get to the point where you're like yeah i'm tired of like feeling not confident, I'm tired of not feeling my best self when I wear a piece of clothing, I'm tired of feeling disgusting and gross because all I eat is junk food. That's where I was. At first, I was like working out four to five times a day. It wasn't all HIIT workouts or like strength training workouts. It was more walking, cardio type of workouts. And now I'm working out two times a day but it's more sustainable. Like I actually can do this every single day and I feel like I'm dying and I'm exhausted. For my workouts, I'm doing one strength training and I'm doing one 45 minute incline walk on my treadmill. And sometimes like at the end of the day, I go walk the dogs with Rudy, like a long walk. Adam is looking at the dog. I am gonna continue eating whatever I like to eat, but I'm gonna watch what I eat and I'm gonna make sure that I'm feeding my body and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling like yes I can eat my rice my chicken because as you guys will see in this video I'm not gonna change anything from what I eat every single day I'll show you exactly what I eat every single day I love my Dominican meals I love eating my rice I love eating my beans I love eating my chicken and I'm not stopping it what I'm doing though is I'm making sure that I'm not eating a big plate of rice Instead, I'm like eating the greens, romaine lettuce with that. And I also cheat. Literally every single week, Rudy and I eat pizza, Chick-fil-A, but that's because we earned it. Like we work the whole week, we work out, we eat healthy the whole week. And then on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, we choose one cheat meal for that day and we eat it. Like we're not depriving ourselves either. So all those things have been extremely helpful.
I drink about four of these a day and drinking water is so important because there are many times that you think that you're hungry but you're actually really thirsty and dehydrated please don't get me wrong don't think i'm telling you to starve i'm just saying that you have to hydrate yourself like always have water on you always drink water now i'm ready to go do my workout today i have cardio core which is cardio and abs and then later on i will do a 45 minute walk so let's get it done i just finished my workout and i'm absolutely demolished this will hold me down for an hour after a shower i must get ready to make lunch right away because Rudy comes home for lunch i usually do a serving this regular grass-fed whole milk just enough so it can be covering it this is my breakfast every single day i really enjoy it because it is so easy i don't have to think about it usually the weekends we do have more fun with our breakfast we go to a diner and I get an omelet, I get home fries, other things, but like on a daily cereal is my go to. So good. Okay, I just finished washing dishes. And one thing about me, I think I've said it before, but I cannot cook if the kitchen is dirty. Like, you know, puedo, you don't get to la cocina bien limpia. First thing we're gonna do is actually clean our lettuce because yesterday I actually went grocery shopping, so I have to prepare a few things. And one thing I feel like is the key to staying eating healthy is cooking your own meals at home. That's like the most important thing. And sometimes I don't have time to do that. So I make sure that I make it easier for myself for example, I'm gonna wash my lettuce right now and just have it pre-cut, clean in the fridge. I also do that with peppers, with onions. Like I always have things pre-cut so when I cook, it's just easy and quicker. So what I do is, I divide my lettuce so one is here and the other one is in this clear bucket I'm going to put half in here and then I'm gonna use my fruit and veggie cleaner spray and I will spray this on my lettuce I'm gonna let that sit on that spray for a little bit just so it can really get in there okay so this is how I make my chicken and it always hits, it never fails. I posted multiple pictures on my Instagram of my meals and you guys always ask me how I make my chicken like that. First, I have my clean and washed chicken in here. I do half a lime or lemon. It's a lime or lemon. And I love citrus on your chicken, like it just gives it, oh my God. I am running out of my adobo, but I am adding adobo in here. Garlic powder, onion powder, you can be generous with onion powder and garlic powder. I feel like there's never enough of that. And finally, oregano leaves. I love my oregano from DR, like the, the powder one. Oregano molido is the touch. This is how it looks. You just mix all of that together. And half of a packet of Sazon Goya. This is the 
culantro y achote. And then I will use some garlic powder, some onion powder, and of course the guandules. My mom always taught me to use the fresh guandules. I like this because it is so easy. I know that there's a big difference though. Like if you cook the guandules fresh, like tu lo blandas and all that, it is different taste. But for days like you just want to cook, you just do this and it comes out really good. around in my fridge so it is currently five and I haven't eaten anything since lunch all I've been doing is drinking my water now I'm in the mood for a little snack and usually when I'm hungry before dinner because right now Rudy is on his way home from work and we're about to eat dinner in like an hour so I'm gonna make something really nice just to fill me up and make me feel good. Let me show you how I make my yogurt bowl. This is what I use. I use this yogurt. It's the Oikos Triple Zero. So good. It's the vanilla flavor. I also would do one kiwi, strawberries, blueberries. So good. snacking on Cheeto puffs, candy and stuff like that like that's not good you have to snack on real foods so yoga bowls are so good I also love the Ritz cookies with cheese that's a really good snack as well I love snacking on popcorn I'm really hungry do boiled eggs with avocados like snack on real foods instead of feeding your body junk that is gonna be so hard to digest and just like process like if you have a sugar craving eat fruits i was so against fruits before like i really enjoy pineapple and stuff like that but like me making a bowl of fruits and yogurt like who is she it is 7 p.m and it is dinner time i'm so excited because i'm starving and a few things before i start dinner to note number one i'm dominican i thrive eating dominican food i'm gonna make tonight some guineito some plátano sancochado con huevo, salami, queso. And that just means I'm gonna make some plantains, like boiled plantains with eggs, cheese, and salami. Um, and it is just my go-to. Before, I would eat dinner super late at night. Now, I eat dinner when the light is out. It is seven. Usually, Rudy and I eat dinner around 6 30. Eating dinner early is really, really important because you let your body digest the food and you're not going to sleep with a belly full of food. I 
in the world. And I do not want to run the dishwasher again after dinner. So trusty paper plates never lets you down. So I'm just going to lay this out here just to have it ready for serving. I love cooking. This is so random, but I really do enjoy cooking. I can cook all day. But the one thing I cannot do is wash dishes or clean up, even though I do that as well. Um, also, Rudy does help me with dinner. He's usually the one who helps me with dinner, but today he got content day, so he's like shooting with E. Um, so I'm in charge of dinner tonight, but I'm very blessed that he is very involved with helping me in the kitchen. Here. Well, I'm actually, I'm shake. Don't put me to camera. You guys, the end of the day is here and I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go to sleep. I did get some chocolate. I usually eat some chocolate before going to sleep. That will satisfy my craving. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you watch till the end, comment below your favorite sweets cookies chocolate cake cupcakes whatever it is comment below <laughs> let's confuse people that didn't watch to the end but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on my next one Bye. it's easy to make promises for the young and free but you kept every word